Happy Tuesday, everyone. Dr. Z here with another episode of Tooth Teacher Tuesday, specifically another episode of Oral Path Corner. For those who tuned in last week, you know that I kicked off a three-part video series talking about dry mouth that will continue over the next few weeks and left with a little bit of a cliffhanger. Um, you know, we were talking about different things that can cause dry mouth and one final thing that I mentioned was today's subject, which is a condition known as Sjogren syndrome. And what Sjogren syndrome is, is it's an autoimmune condition where, like most autoimmune conditions, the antibodies, our, our own immune system, starts to attack certain areas of the body. And in the case of Sjogren syndrome, it specifically is targeting um, mucus glands, specifically the salivary glands, and then also your, um, your tear glands as well. And so the outcome with Sjogren syndrome is that folks suffer from dry mouth and dry eyes. And like most autoimmune conditions, we don't fully understand what causes it, what triggers the immune system to attack those glands. And Sjogren syndrome, so, blah, 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 blah. like I said last week, Sjogren syndrome is hard to say. Um, like most autoimmune conditions, Sjogren syndrome can occur by itself or oftentimes occurs side by side with other autoimmune conditions. So, for example, many times someone who has, let's say, rheumatoid arthritis, oftentimes will be at a higher risk for Sjogren syndrome as well. Not a guaranteed thing, but they do often happen hand in hand. So this is usually the part of the video where I'll talk about what treatment there is for Sjogren syndrome, but I'm gonna leave you on another bit of a cliffhanger. Um, like I said, over the next few weeks, we'll be talking more about dry mouth. Next week on part two, going to be talking about some of the implications, some of the impact of what happens if we don't treat dry mouth. And then we'll have another episode of Oral Path Corner the week after that. And then finally, the week after that, wrap things up with part three on dry mouth, talking about what different treatment options are. So. If you want to find out what treatment is for Sjogren syndrome, and I hope you do, then stay tuned over the next few weeks and we'll dive into it more deeply. But in the meantime, I hope everyone has a great week. I want to send a bit of an early shout out for Mother's Day coming up here in the next few days. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, specifically my own mother and grandmothers and godmother and all the important women in my life. Thank you for all you do for us. And again, hope everyone has a great week and a great Mother's Day. And we'll see you next week for part two on dry mouth. Thanks for tuning in.